little guy playing here started right here. If you can imagine a location where 80 plus years ago, a young Walt Disney was up on the second floor of, of his little uh, studio space there, uh, trying to figure out what he was gonna do with his life, and uh, ended up feeding this little semi-tame mouse beans out of a can. As legend has, and as Walt Disney told it, he actually shared those beans and other food with a little mouse that would later inspire Mickey Mouse. It was 1922. This was young Walt Disney's Laugh-O-Gram studio in Kansas City. What you've got is a group of young, enthusiastic uh, geniuses uh, creating animation. Butch Rigby and John Ship are part of the Thank You Walt Disney group. They can picture it, the studio, how it was, and they want the public to see it too. Uh, the building is empty. It had been falling in and caved in. Uh, we raised a sufficient amount of money to take all of the debris out of it, uh, put new steel in it, new concrete floors, new framing, new brickwork, new windows. Eventually, they want to restore the building to look like it did when Disney drew here. They'll also show films by and about Walt Disney and show visitors how animation was done then and now. It'll be a place where, uh, you know, a kid can go in and become fascinated, you know, restore a little of that hope that some of them might not have. But the bottom line is that that building, which was the birthplace, or the cradle at least, of Hollywood am animation, uh, will be saved for future generations. Generations who can learn that the most amazing things can come out of the most humble. It's great to know that the Walt Disney's of the world had to eat a can of beans occasionally. Donna Pittman, KNBC 9 News.